from Pontin, France. He weighed in at 198 pounds with a record of 30 wins, two losses. He has 21 wins coming by way of knockout with 27 consecutive victories. Tonight, he is making the fourth defense of his title. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the WBA Cruiserweight Champion of the World, introducing Jean-Marc Mornet. And his opponent across the ring on my left, we'll get it out it. of the red we'll corner, it. wearing yellow trunks with green and red trim, fighting out of Brooklyn, New York, by way of Georgetown, Guyana. He weighed in at a trim and ready 188 pounds. He is undefeated in his campaign to the ring with 21 wins, no losses, 17 wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight, making the fourth defense of his yeah. title, he is the undefeated WBC Cruiserweight Champion of the World, introducing oh. Wayne Big Truck Braithwaite. <laughs> Once again, I'm a free and charge, Dick Flaherty now to give instructions, 12 rounds of championship boxing schedule. Yep, you got it. Okay, Wayne, John. Come on, guys. Okay, gentlemen, we're going 12 rounds tonight for the unification of uh, WBC, WBA titles. We expect a good, clean, professional fight. We gave the instructions in the dressing room. We take the shirts off, please, so I can check the belt lines. Take the shirts off. No, no. Take the shirts off. Take the robe off. Take the robe off. All right, this is a little high. This is all right. Okay, he's okay. Okay, go to the corners. Okay. The reason Mormek a little slow to react, he doesn't speak English. This is a fight originally scheduled for this past October, postponed because of a foot injury to Mormek. According to Braithwaite, though, Mormek simply wasn't ready. Big truck. Uh, as Al pointed out, a fast starter, long rangy, a natural southpaw who switches to righty seems a lot more than just a big truck. The low key Mormek physically imposing, chiseled, compact cut, built like a tank. Tendency to do more looking, though, than punching at the outset. But he told us it will be bombs away at the bell tonight. And there is the bell. Fans not in a particularly jovial mood here right now because their hometown hero, Jose Antonio Rivera, was uh, just upset one fight ago by split decision against Luis Collazo of uh, Brooklyn for the WBA welterweight title. Hopefully these cruiserweights can put a smile on their face. Now, Wayne Braithwaite is a lefty, but you see him fighting as a righty. And now look at him switch. You'll see him go back and forth all night um, for the record. Oh, look at Mormack. He switches lefty briefly. So maybe that's something he's got up his sleeve. For the record, Mormack is 2-1 against lefties. The general feeling going into this fight, uh, Al Walt, Mormack is so very strong and, and determined. The difference could be that Braithwaite just does more in the ring like what you were just alluding to the switching and, and boxing more mech uh, quite powerful not particularly fast has to be close to connect his money punches the left hook and stamina if this fight goes deep could be an issue for more mech uh, which is not uncharacteristic for very muscular type fighters like he is great way trying to establish that jab look how quickly he switches he does it just on a, so quickly look at him he is working well from the outside this is what you almost expected early in this fight Braithwaite being very effective from the outside and he says he goes into a fight not really knowing when he's going to yeah. switch or why it's amazing it really is and he doesn't know how long he'll be a righty or a lefty during a match so many similarities between these two both have good skills both are heavy hitters both very strong and both very hittable as you just saw uh, uh, oh, nice counter right hand by Mormek. For Mormek, the trick is just to get through these early rounds. And uh, as you can see, there's a lot to get through. Braithwaite's having an excellent first round. Braithwaite pounding away to the body. Each with three title defenses. They have one common opponent. They both beat tough Canadian Dale Brown. The same way, eighth round TKO the same year, 2002. 
Braithwaite does have a good speed. Mentioned his nickname, Big Truck, but don't get so fooled by that. He's got good boxing ability. Now, here's against the ropes. That's where he does not want to be against Mormeck, and he understands that, and that's why. Look at Mormeck go to work with that overhand right. Good counterpunch, you know, by Braithwaite. Yeah, following that long right, Braithwaite pouring it on upstairs. And there's a heavy right hand to the head and into the body. All right hands by Braithwaite. Now the left, but that's blocked. But the right hand is getting through by Braithwaite. Huge first round by Wayne Braithwaite. And for Mormeck, he just has to get through this assault. As we head for the bell. And at the bell, it's Mormeck coming on. He landed with the right hand. As advertised. Let's check in with Steve Farhood. Steve? Steve, you mentioned during that first round, Dale Brown fought both of these guys. There's nobody better to analyze this fight. I spoke to Dale Brown earlier this week about Braithwaite. He said he's the crisper puncher, the faster puncher. But Dale Brown doesn't think speed or power has anything to do with this for Braithwaite. He says it's all about discipline. He has to stay away and box pretty much the way he fought in that first round. Regarding Mormeck, he said Mormeck is very heavy-handed. If Braithwaite doesn't score a stoppage early, Dale Brown feels that Mormeck will stop Braithwaite late in the fight. So somewhat ambivalent, Dale Brown, picking Braithwaite early, Mormeck late. And Dale Brown will be fighting for the vacant IBF title against O'Neill Bell in a few weeks. So who knows, maybe he gets either Mormeck or Braithwaite again. Back to you, Steve. Steve, thank you very much. From studying tapes, Braithwaite does seem more offensive when he's from a right-handed stance. Seems to control the fight more when he's southpaw but not as uh, as aggressive now he comes out as a southpaw to start the second one of the important headlines from round one i thought were the counter right hands that Mormeck was able to land toward the end of the round and even during portions of the middle of the round even though braithwaite won the round that's something wayne braithwaite's gonna have to deal uh, figure out how to deal with because those are heavy punches some southpaws who switch aren't necessarily as effective from the right side, but Braithwaite seems to be able to jab well from either side. You see Braithwaite moving around, trying not to get caught on the ropes. This is not a huge ring, but it's a decent sized ring. I would think as Braithwaite lands to the body and then the countering body shots by Mormek that Braithwaite uh, serves as an awkward adversary here and here That's comes more mech not where Braithwaite wants to be bad positioning Let's against those again. ropes let him out let him out wow an assault by Jean-Marc Mormeck I got it let him out Listen, who seems to have solved Braithwaite early and he continues to come forward Sometimes reminiscent of Joe Frazier's body style, the way he gets down low and comes forward, throwing hard punches and banging inside. No push, no push. Well, you said it, Mormek is a very strong fighter. He, he, he physically imposes his right, will on you. He's it. done it for 27 it. straight fights. And his battle cry coming into this match was Wayne Braithwaite had been hit by someone like him. Braithwaite generally looks to outpunch and out hustle. Mormek looks to overpower you but looks to wear you down in hopes of taking advantage later in the fight. He is an accurate body puncher, as we're seeing, and he's busy. There's a big right hand upstairs by Mormek. So Mormek got off to the, the flimsy start of the first round, but he has really come on. You know, if you need to wonder whether this fight will go the distance, in the last 33 fights that these two fighters have had, 30 of those they have won by stoppage. So they, they, you can see they're punchers. You talked about Mormek's left hook, but he has a very heavy right as well. Mm -hmm. Now it's Mormek back pedaling to the ropes, not where he wants to be. Mormek's last fight versus a southpaw two fights ago, although not in the style of Braithwaite. It was a very tall, lanky Alexander Gura from the Ukraine. And Mormek did a nice job of winning that fight. An eighth round TKO. Just took the height advantage right, right away from Burrow. Okay. Much better round for the Frenchman. Oh, 
you're about to run in, run, run. Stay in the wheel and do just that. Take your time. All right? Oh, Once I'm I start jumping not. up and running away and but, trying okay, to outside the punches, you ain't trying to punch, just keep driving, keep running easy. You see the opening, you go fit. Don't Wayne Braithwaite needs to be in the center of the ring. He acknowledged that yesterday, Tuss, and this is what happens when you get caught against the corner against Marmek. You know, he's got a good arsenal of punches. He's he, he, there you saw the right, the uppercut, the left hook. Mormek is not a, a one-dimensional fighter, even though he's coming forward a lot. He's pretty creative in the way he attacks you. And then later in the round, the right hand's been a very effective weapon for Mormek, and there is a good short counter right hand. He's quicker than some people might give him credit for, Steve. And we're Time. set now for round Time three, up. scheduled Time. for 12 for the Over WBA here. WBC Cruiserweight Championship. Timeout is called as they're a little late in getting the stool out of Braithwaite's corner. Why, guys, and also there's a lot here. of moisture there now, so they have to towel that off and do some housekeeping. Get a little help from Dick Flaherty. Okay. You know, Jean-Marc Mormec, uh, his last two championship fights were not televised in France. This one is being televised there. It's in a dispute with promoters and uh, who knows what the reason is, but he's very excited that uh, the people back in France are getting to see him try and unify this title and that's extra motivation for him. And he continues to have success with that long right hand, does more mech. I think Braithwaite is much better off as a righty in this fight. And the reason is what you said, good shots by Braithwaite. He punches harder as a righty. And if you're gonna keep more mech off you, you've got to land big punches. Ormeck 30 and 2 with 21 knockouts. Braithwaite undefeated, 21 and 0, 17 KOs. You know, Braithwaite's body work, surprising. I mean, I didn't expect him to go downstairs as much. The problem is that leaves him vulnerable to some of those counter right hands by Mormeck. Right, I got it. I'll grab him. I can grab him. And it gone by in round three. Braithwaite, born in Georgetown, Guyana. Got interested in boxing when he was 17. 60 amateur fights. He's had more amateur experience than more mech. A two-time Golden Gloves champion in Guyana. Guyana, a small country of about 750,000 on the northeast shoulder of South America, which has produced several prominent boxers like stop, Vivian stop, Harris, stop, Andrew stop. Sixheads Listen, Lewis. Grab him behind the head. Don't grab him behind the head. You know, uh, Braithwaite stop. getting caught against those ropes again, wheeled his way out. Mormek had good sparring against Guillermo Jones, who fought on the undercard here and lost a very close decision to Steve Cunningham. But Jones, a very good sparring partner because he switches back and forth uh, similar to the manner Braithwaite does. Braithwaite oh, landing some up, hellacious body shots while getting a warning from Flaherty for a little low. Two quality fighters, both experienced against good opposition. Several impressive wins by each. Both off the long layoff, so that is a washout. We can see why these are the two best cruiserweights. They're good fighters. They really are. Both bring something impressive to the table. Boy, Braithwaite better watch out throwing those body shots. He is leaving himself wide open for a big counter shot. And that a borderline shot. Countering shots here, and there's a straight right hand by Mormick that got through the defense. That's that push in. Again, he's got him on the ropes, and that's where he lands the right and the left. There's Mormick going to work. Great sequence here by Mormek. Going to the body and the head, and back comes Braithwaite to the body oh, and to the head. Man. And a right hand by Mormek. Terrific exchange. Excellent ending to this round. All right. Wow. Let's go over to Steve Farhood. Claire Smalls, the mother of Wayne Braithwaite and